Hello everybody and welcome back to more of Mega Man! Last time we completed the Fireman stage and in this episode we're gonna take on the final robot master, Bomb Man! Alright, here we go. We are in the final Robot Master stage, and I kind of take back what I said about how Gutsman and Fireman's stages were the toughest. Yeah, this uh, these stages can be tough as well. It just depends on how you can handle these traps, and I'm surprised I didn't run into a enemy that is supposed to be native to this area, which is a green-like shield guy who will shoot out. Uh, just shoot beads like you would from your uh, Mega Blaster. Uh, but anyway, there's some health here that I'm gonna collect because why not? And I'm gonna refill my Magnet Beam with that. Yes, I've actually looked up the official names now so nobody, so everybody can stop yelling at me. Anyway, let's head up here. And I gotta say, I never really mentioned this, but I do love the music in Mega Man. It's probably a... Oh, no, no, aw, come on. This is gonna reset those blasters, so... You kinda wanna deal with them as quick as possible. Oh, no, no, oh, jeez. Go that way, go that way, yes. Come on, take it out. There we go. And I'm definitely gonna need this health, so let me drop down. It refills 10, so we were one off from getting a complete refill. That sucks. Anyway, let's head up here. Oh no, the green guy's up here, I was mistaken. But this guy, yeah, he is a pain. He basically blocks all of your attacks until you, like, turn around. Oh, we got a 1-up. Yes, I actually needed that because I had zero lives, so thank goodness I actually got that. Anyway. Nope. Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh, wow, how do he hit? No, come on. Well, it's a good thing I did get that 1-up because the checkpoint... Wait a minute. Oh, we didn't reach a checkpoint yet. I could have sworn there was a checkpoint that we already got, but I guess not. Anyways, I will meet you back where we were. Alright, we're back. Now it's just a matter of going safely. Oh, we got some health back. Good. Alright, so it's a matter of making it safely to this next area, and we actually did, so that's good. Alright, so, now over here, I don't think we need to deal with any more Sharknadoes, so let's just go to the Cutman Power, uh, oh, I was hoping that uh, we could actually take him out. Oh, this is where we did need to go, okay, I thought we had to go lower, but thankfully not. Anyways, over here, oh, we're gonna get hit by this Sharknado, oh, of course. Alright, all we need to do is go over here, wait for that to run out, and just head up via the magnet pull stuff, and now these guys! Yeah, they're back! Just go over here, avoid them! Yes! Oh my god, how were- how did- how did we avoid every how did we avoid every single thing? Oh, there's that one- Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get that one- yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get that one up. That's fine, though. That is completely fine. Oh, but there's this guy right before the boss, of course. Come on, get out of my way. Come on. I'm just gonna take him out like this, I don't even care. Yeah, see, I don't even care. Anyway, we do need the Fireman power-up for this boss fight, so let's go. And right here, you can go slowly down the ladder, but I recommend just tanking one or two hits. Most likely one hit, because of the, you know, the damage booster stuff. And there you go, you will be at the boss straight away. Hello, Bomb Man, it's nice to see you. If he can... There we go. Oh my god. The fire surrounding us actually took him out. That's pretty cool. Anyways, we have defeated... Bomb Man.
And with that, we are now able to face Dr. Wily, who stole all of these robot masters for the purpose of evil from Dr. Light. Next time on Mega Man, it is the finale. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.